A lot of people will say, how could you possibly like live and work together? It seems that there seem to be two big camps and that um, a bit, we can't imagine not living and working together. At this point, I've um, been working with Todd for exactly half of my 48 years. It's hard to imagine not having a partner that didn't, like your lives aren't fully intertwined. Uh, I'm Stephanie Forsyth, and uh, I'm Todd McCallan. <laughs> and uh, we work together uh, exploring all kinds of materials and aspects of everyday life. One of the main things that we've been looking at is um, paper and paper-like materials, sheet materials that are flexible and light, um, and um, take a low amount of energy to produce as well as to reuse. There was a period where um, Stephanie and I were designing and building houses and we had um, a lot of tools that we carted around. And we, we sold all that like, after realizing that we didn't want to continuously design houses for clients. And so, yeah, we just started getting more into um, folding and laminating paper and, and discovering what kinds of structures we could make. We had a really small little live work studio that we moved into when we first came to Vancouver in 2000. We were always looking at how could we be flexible with this small urban space and compressing space? And so if you weren't sleeping in this bedroom, could you compress it and now give more space to the living room? And, uh, and then down into other elements of the things that you sit on, the things that enclose the space from above. Oh, yeah, soft wall is um, a, a flexible partition wall that's freestanding and it's made out of 220 layers of paper <laughs> or other flexible paper-like materials. And uh, so th those layers are laminated into a honeycomb structure and it allows for something that's less than two inches thick to expand more than 100 times that size. Uh, we think that the simple everyday things we do are, are the most important opportunity to find joy and delight because they happen every day. <laughs> so where you sleep, the first thing you see when your eyes open in the morning, um, how you make your coffee or tea, sharing meals with people and, uh, and the type of space that that background to your whole life. We don't see them as like design objects, like we're designers with faces, then these are our objects and they're recognizable by people. We, we see them more as just sort of abstract background elements. You kind of create a world for yourself 